Hey everyone, today I have a special video where I'll be chatting math with Tahoe the dog. Tahoe, are you ready to do some math? Oh totally, yeah, I love math. I count how many bones I have left in my tree jar like all the time. Do you do math with graphs? Oh yeah, I totally do math with graphs all the time. I pee on grass, I lay on grass. Sometimes if my belly hurts, I will even eat the grass. I think you're talking about grass, but I'm talking about graphs. Graphs are a way to encode networks. They usually look like a bunch of nodes and pairs of nodes are connected if there's a relationship between them. For example, think of nodes being people and two people being linked if they know each other. What's your favorite graph? Well, I mean, mostly I like the green grass outside, but sometimes I will pee on the soft grass in our living room, but then my humans get really excited and start screaming at me. Again, I'm talking about kinds of graphs, like complete graphs, like K9. Oh, yes, I love the K9. I mean, I am a K9. All my friends are K9s. I mean, we all have humans to take care of, but K9s are obviously the dominant species. No offense. I like complete graphs like K9 too, where all nine vertices are adjacent to each other. But sometimes graphs aren't that dense. One way to measure density, though, is through neighborhoods of vertices. The neighborhood of a vertex is the set of vertices adjacent to it. Oh my gosh, yeah, like don't even get me started about the neighborhood. My humans are so concerned about our neighborhood that we patrol it usually like twice a day. Which I mean is like fine since I have to walk my humans anyway so like it works. Humans usually walk around in clicks actually. A click is another concept about graphs. Just like your canine, a click is a set of vertices, every pair of which is adjacent. A complete subgraph of a graph is a click. Wait, did you say click? My mouth is making water. For some reason, I feel like I expect you to give me a treat right now. Oh, you must have been click trained. So, Tahoe, as a math lover, do you have a flavor of math you particularly like? More of the analysis calculus flavor, algebra flavor, applied flavor, data flavor, or... Well, obviously the beef flavor, I mean, I don't know why why most of the food my humans give me is beef flavor since I don't think I've ever killed a cow, but I still like it. Uh, okay, I'm guessing your flavor is algebra. One building block of algebra is a group. A group is a structure that has a multiplication and inverses. When it's commutative, meaning xy equals yx, that means that the group is actually abelian. I've never heard of abelian, but I'm a beagle. Are abelians related to beagles? <laughs> That's a little imperfect. Speaking of which, do you know about perfect squares, Tahoe? They're numbers that can be written as a whole number times itself. Oh, we have lots of squirrels in the yard, but I wouldn't say they are perfect at all. I mean, I actually take issue with a lot of the squirrels' behavior. I mean, they're always collecting nuts and scaling the fence and totally mocking me, you know? Like, I really don't appreciate the attitude. You know, Tahoe, scaling is a common thing we do in a part of math called linear algebra. We scale things, we rotate things, and these are all encompassed in a cool object called a matrix. Have you heard of a matrix? Oh, my tricks? Yeah, I got lots of tricks. I sit, I stay, well, sometimes I stay, unless I see something that interests me, and then, of course, I go to it. Oh, and I kind of know how to put my paw into my human's hand, but, like, I don't know why it's so exciting with my butt being on the ground, my paw being in the air. I don't know. Humans are so weird. <laughs> well, Tahoe, what'll we do without ya? If you want to see more of Tahoe the dog, definitely check out his YouTube channel. See you all in the next video. Wait, I have to go in a tube? <laughs>